managed to get out of the church quietly, so let's make this one the same. Yeah, it's no fun beating up immature soldiers like them. Cut the chatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Crest take the boat to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. To Nizhny this time. Attention no, on your right. About 20 clicks from there. Fuck those assholes. You're talking about the outpost? Yeah, the last time we were there, those fucking so called vigilant Watch out, on your right. Made a sieve out of our bridge. Hey, convenient. You... Tell me everything was all right while we were unloading the wares. He's but dead. Time... We have a man down, people. Better be ready for what's coming next. Careful, on your left. Your game is up. You can't hide and you can't run. Bastards got away. Couldn't be far. Tell me. I think I won't find him now.
Shoot! I've laid down my weapons already! Shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! <laughs> Great job, Atul! Ready to set off? Too late if you're not. We have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh, yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man, your stations, way anchor. We're gonna go about the That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, Blade. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Hey, you are sure? Catch the line! So, Artyom, shall we move? Whoever gets there first wins. Break a leg. Actually arrived right at the ceremony. 
Our guys rushed over to save the Holy Father, and the heretic killed most of them. They say he wouldn't touch you if you surrendered, though. He also killed part of the unarmed force. Not heaven to be there. He hasn't lost the last of his humanity, that heretic. Not to mention that Kakatiya has wished to fall. There's a rumor that people saw her with the heretics. So you think they might attack? Uh, who knows? They are heretics. The dark fish devoured them. Yeah, they only built on the lines of spirit. all the demons. You don't just come back after that. Don't ask anyone. They got captured by heathens, but a heretic. One of the new ones freed them. Ah, old Simon just got called feet, that's all. All the stories people tell him on the go. No, he not. He came back and did a huge fuss at the church and got his way too. Now we will be praying for that heretic instead of Simon. You got that? God, for a heretic? It would please God, though. That's Simon. What next? Then he just made the sign of the cross, kissed the altar, and went back to the demons. <laughs> Hey, why are you lying here, brother? Damnation! Enough throwing, you filthy heretic! Give up now! Here's my blessing for you!
even protect our holy sage Salantia. <laughs> Oh, 
We're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. We've been easy on you people the whole time. And Katya asked us to take her along herself. Do you get me? Sure thing. First you kill off the local cutthroats, and then you switch to us. Will you kill elders and children too? Or have you drunk enough blood already? Leave us for good now. God may punish you for your sins, but my responsibility is to tend my flock. That's a good boy. Hear me, brothers! Hold your fire! You hear me? I'll excommunicate everyone who shoots! Well, I did all I could. Just don't shoot. And tell the driver to keep it slow. The bridge is in shambles, so don't stop, or the bridge might collapse. Our no, lower jump here. We've reached an agreement. They will let us through if we don't shoot and move forward. Don't stop. I repeat, do not stop. Over. Kill you loud and clear, Duke. We're out. All hands. Hold your fire and kill Morgan. Artyom, let's jump! Well, that's a job well done, huh? <laughs> We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. The bridge dwellers had finally decided to believe that we were not demons and let us pass. Anna was right. We invaded their world, and it's not up to us to destroy it, no matter how stupid it may seem. Electricity is a sin. Is that really worse than the lies we were told in the metro? About how the whole world was dead and there was nowhere to go? Everybody in the tunnels bought that convenient lie. Once we reach Yamantau, we will at least know if that lie was justified. Since so far, we haven't met any signs of enemy occupation. In the right bottom, it reads, Passenger car? As a train passenger car, then a train car, then a cross, and then two women named as Nastya and Katya. Artyom, Artyom, wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the bridge. See you later. Come on, wake up. Baikal is a very great lake in Russia. It is also a drink that was made in USSR. Still made today by this brand. There it is again, the uh, music from the Brother 2 movie, 
old Ru Russian movie. Very good song, I'm sure you can Google that one. That's good. <sighs> oh, this is one mean smoke. Ugh, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. By the way, that's not a joint he's smoking. <clears throat> he's smoking a uh, self roll. Well. You are the right kind Basically, of guy. tobacco and you, some uh, colonel, newspaper. Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. And now he's bragging about it like a child. He is a child. He I haven't decided where I want to work. Yeah. The Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Very good I'm Russian sorry music. Ask, Katya, but that's just I'll stop it already. <laughs> hey, Artyom, well, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. <laughs> so, what's up with your plate carrier? Tokarev was mad. Ah, uh, it's a long story. Come on, out with it. Well, there I am, sitting on a beam, looking at Artyom milling about below. <sighs> Oh, you are so full of it. <laughs> Artyom did most of the work. 
<laughs> that he did, yeah, yeah, he did. But you don't have to interrupt my lies. You ask me what the days yourself. Come here, Artyom. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark. All thanks to Tokarev. He got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes, yes. Hey, hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. Hey, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the check will be in order. Great, Colonel. Um, in Melico? Simply kidding. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but as you know, no matter what kind of end of the world will happen, nature will always find its way. If you look at Chernobyl and Pripyat, you would know what I'm talking about. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. At the top right, it reads government, question mark, then city of Yamantau, then where the white arrow is, it reads Project Arc, and then at the bottom, it reads Autumn. Don't say that. Comrade Carol, it's getting really hot out here. 
Everyone, masks on. Passengers, get inside and put the up tight. Yes, of course. Come on, master. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. Roger that, How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We do that right now! Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sorry, yes, sir! Great. Let's go! By the way, Russians never say so, sir, yes, sir. That's strictly American term. Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. Do not leave your cars at the gate. Welcome, but then at the bottom it says, Beware. Welcome, says the big red sign. Crest is the Russian word for a cross, by the way. Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, 
get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Here goes nothing! Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense, now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. You fucker! Let me... Let me go! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people and the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here, I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. But I'll get you right. Burn this scum to ashes. Now we'll be fought again. <laughs> 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 
Good. D6. Even the lift is the same exactly. True. And quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, Idiot means a fool, by the way.
Borscht is a Russian soup. So the Borscht, um, so the father is the only one who worth the Borscht. That's what it says right there. is here.
Artyom, I knew. Behind you. There is always one like you, a hero. You're not saving anyone, just like the others. So just freeze. Yes, yes. Don't, Let just, him just, go. Don't kill me. Now. Uh, remember what I told you. There was an ex. Enough chatter. <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Uh, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. It reads a notebook. Worse than that cult on the Volga. And that's Silantius with his damned fanatics. But no, it appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. But the Russians are simply not there. Not to get it. Nothing to grow. Radiation everywhere. What were we to do? Die like humans! I'm all right. Who could have known? Who knew these these creatures here kept eating people for twenty years? Could you imagine that? I'm sorry. I got carried <laughs> away like a greenhorn recruit. The minister was going to see me. Conceit me to be complacent. I even saluted those ghouls. Some fucking ark. These monsters have it made, <coughs> like the watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. But these... All right, but what do we do I'll now? I'll be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs, all the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. is what if next time it doesn't you're right of course but do you intend to live forever <laughs> of course all the more reason to die at the same time of what is allowed to be that guy over there i've grown attached to him
Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! Suka means bitch, by the way. I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And <coughs> if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> Could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then! <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. So at the very top it reads Project Ark. At the right it reads Cannibals. And the crossed out is Government and the city of Yamantau. At the very bottom it reads the complex of satellite connection. Then it reads map question mark, water question mark, fuel question mark. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. That's an old Russian car, old USSR car. Uh, has a nickname of uh, Loaf of Bread. 
So I translated from Russian. Somehow, I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off, but the others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. There's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. <sighs> I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Demir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. Sir, do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info. Which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Hi, Artyom. All clear. So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to house a ticket office and lockers. Full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning.
made a mistake coming here.
So, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. Uh, I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya! One, two, three, four, five. One tower catfish for a dive. Six, seven, eight. Couple frogs a day. Anna, you are here. Come in, Anna. Hi, Artyom. Artyom. I've got something for you. This is something I finished just now. Why were you out here? Hollowed out a couple of T-Har bullets and filled them with explosive. Ah, Some so explosive ammo right there. Why did you approach them in the first place? Cut it out! I forbid enemy contact. You are to act with utmost care. I repeat, your task is observation alone. Do you read me? Reports at half-hour intervals. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs> 